You know, we know Beyonce did not <laughs> shut the lights she off. Did not, she, she did, did not, not shut she the lights off. Uh, but we're taking a look at what's trending on the web this morning. A lot of conspiracy theorists believe that Beyonce signaled that she's part of a secret society <laughs> bent on world domination. The Illuminati. Forget the lights Hold for a second. Oh. What she did is she made a diamond shape with her hands during her Super Bowl halftime performance. And, and I, I'm told the gesture is considered a symbol of the Illuminati. Uh, Illuminati was founded in 1776 and members claim to have mysterious knowledge from a higher source. There's also a theory circulating that Beyonce may have been sending a secret message to her husband Jay-Z or it's also possible she just put her hands up. Like this. <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 I have a higher story. source. Okay. Uh, the teleprompter is my higher source. Yes. <laughs> That's what to, I'm following. I'll tell people out there, there's a sorority called Delta Sigma Theta. Yeah. That's their symbol. They got is half a member? million members. Is she a member? No, I'm just saying that. Are you a member? No, dude, it's a sorority. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Alpha Phi Alpha. My wife is a member. But my point is, that's, that's it a symbol. Be a lot of things. These, these, these Illuminati people are absolutely crazy. They look for this stuff in all, all of these different celebrities. Stop it. Seriously. Look at his pocket right. so square. That's oh, a Oh, that's Illuminati? That's yeah. a triangle. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I, I'm in He's the group. He's covering it up. I'm in the <laughs> group. Up, so whether you were watching the game, whether you were watching the Beyonce com uh, concert with some, with some guys playing football, all around it. Whatever it was, it was a record breaking 164 or so million people. Asuka. You know, I read that he doesn't actually charge for making these ads. It allows no. him to be, you know, creative. He, says he likes to create and kiss freedom, people. So given a blank slate, yeah, Will yeah, Ferrell comes up people. with okay. this. Yes. 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 You like it? Okay, it's not like he was creative in that ad. So. Company, I called the company and they said, well, you know, we did not pay him to do it. We, we, this, he did this. We didn't do Another this. Another Super Bowl mystery. All right, guys. <laughs> the Boy Scouts. To force the United States uh, into a so-called one world government uh, known as the New World Order. People who believe this theory are deeply suspicious of international organizations such as the United Nations and think the government plans a national seizure of all guns. They believe uh, that uh, the federal government intends to impose martial law on the country any moment now, that that martial law will be imposed with the aid of foreign troops, probably UN blue helmets. Online talk shows perpetuate goon force and often mention TSA officers. Readily fall in line with Nick Robinson, CNN, Washington. It seems these days that almost anything can become the topic of conspiracy theories. And that includes one of America's major airports. Opened in 1995, Denver International has long been the subject of wild speculation. Well, when the airport began a major renovation project, they decided it was a chance to play along. Barry Peterson has that story. Flying saucers have invaded our planet. Washington, London, Paris. If the saucers ever do come, may we suggest another landing zone, Denver's airport, where some say the welcome signs are already up for gargoyles. And are they really making a new home for the lizard people as workers remodel the main terminal? And why is this guy, well, this thing, shushing us? It's all out of focus and weird. Well, one may say these are the type of visitors that we have underground in our facility. Stacy Stegman is the airport spokesperson. What's really going on? What's really going on is we are revitalizing our terminal, improving security, creating additional capacity so that we can serve our passengers into the future. Okay, that's boring. This is a lot more fun, just for the record. Exactly. They even post on social media when aliens roam the airport. Since it opened in 1995, America's fifth busiest airport has swirled with conspiracy theories. How the runways make a swastika. How the blue Mustang statue earned the nickname Blucifer after it fell over and killed the artist. And then the murals. Some show peaceful times, some show apocalypse. If art is in the eye of the beholder, conspiracy investigative journalist Jay Widener beholds doom. City underwater, flaming forests, this is scary stuff. It's telling people in the know what this airport is all about. This theory says baggage handlers share basement space with a secret underground railroad to bunkers in the Rocky Mountains where top government officials will survive nuclear war. I heard that it's maglev, the whole thing is magnetic mag levitation. Ma magnetic levitation. And as the airport has some chuckles with conspiracy, there is the cat in the hat. Poor thing. I'm sorry, but this is a cat. 
with a tin hat. Like, is that the imagery that Denver wants to project? Zombie cat lairs. Would you really believe this? Well, uh, people do. Do you? I'm not going to comment on that. <laughs> so the next time an extraterrestrial needs a lift home, phone home, we now know the perfect airport to jump that flight. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Barry Peterson, Denver. I love that the Denver airport has a sense of humor about itself. They certainly do. <laughs> Can't get that image now of the cat out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>《It's the world's most well-known secret society. Rich with symbols and ritual, it's the source of legends.》Because so much organized crime uses the Masonic secret system and the Good Old Boy Network to be able to get away with murder, and I mean murder. Welcome to the world of Freemasonry. True or false, the Masons are a secret society. No, it's that's false. UCLA history professor Margaret Jacob is one of the world's leading experts on Freemasonry. True or false? Freemasonry is a religion. No, it's false. True or false? Masons were behind the American Revolution. False, false, false. Okay, but what about on the dollar bill, the the eye oh, yeah, and the, the pyramid? Yeah. I mean, that's Masonic, right? No, it's it. it, it Everybody says it's Masonic. In fact, it's a commonplace in the 18th century that particular set of symbols. True, Freemasons laid the cornerstone of America. Well, at least some of its most iconic structures. So, what is Freemasonry? Simply put, it's the world's oldest and largest fraternity. Its membership a who's who of world history. George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Winston Churchill, Mozart, Davy Crockett, Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Houdini, Gerald Ford, Henry Ford, John Wayne, even Colonel Sanders. If you want to be a Mason, you can petition a local lodge for membership. They're one of the most secretive organizations in the world. There are certain secrets that you have to earn. Famous for unexplained rituals. Where were you first prepared to be a Freemason? In my heart. Describe the mode of your preparation. My right arms, left breast, and knee made bare. There has been this notion that we somehow use goats in our rituals because we're somehow satanic. And they face regular accusations of corruption. There are people who are genuinely afraid to declare that they are Freemasons. They're no more corrupt than anybody else. Whenever anything bad happens, there are a whole horde of people who are digging to see whether Freemasonry was involved. All the men in my family are Freemasons. I'm the only girl to go into Masonry. If a man can do it, so can I. For the first time, we've been given access inside this highly secretive society to find out the truth behind the intrigue. We have nothing to hide that's sinister. We're not trying to take over the world, despite all these conspiracy theories. The Freemasons are a secretive society that practice rituals in a temple and promote brotherly love. Although they have always been associated with men, we've gained access to the two female Freemason groups in the UK: the Order of Women Freemasons and the Honourable Fraternity of Ancient Freemasons. This looks like any other leafy street in central London, but this is the international headquarters of one of the most secretive and mysterious organisations in the world. And for the first time, they're exclusively opening the doors to us. This is the Order of Women Freemasons. There's a meeting today for the quarterly communication of Grand Lodge, where only members of a certain rank can attend. The most worshipful, the Grand Master, Christine Chapman. 
And this is the second group we've been given access to, the Honourable Fraternity of Ancient Freemasons. Right Worshipful Assistant Grand Master, whom do you represent? Hiram, Prince of Architects, Most Worshipful the Grand Master. And your duty? To lay plans, draw designs and assist the Most Worshipful the Grand Master in the execution of her work. Christine Chapman, a former bookkeeper, is hoping to be re-elected for the top job of Grand Master for another four years. The Grand Master has to lead and guide 